Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing some fall floral ideas. I got some new fall florals, so I wanted to share some styling tips and some styling ideas with you guys. So make sure you stick around, it's gonna be a fun video. Also, if you are not yet following me on Instagram, you can find me at Valerie Aguirre, where I share a lot of behind the scenes and fun stuff there too. Okay, so when I start thinking about decorating for fall, I like to bring out certain types of colors and certain things that I want to incorporate while keeping kind of a color scheme in mind. I love all of the wooded texture, kind of rustic look. These rich brown colors are totally speaking my language. I love all different types of textures and kind of worn, very rustic type things if you guys don't know my style. But with rustic style, not every Everything has to be rustic so I like to kind of mix and match a lot of different types of things in there. I pulled out a lot of wooden trays that I have in kind of my decor arsenal. These are some of my favorite pieces. Not that I'm going to use all of them but it's just nice to have options and play around with things. So I also like to take out a few accessories that I might want to incorporate. These little brass links are always really cute. Some books and then I had to get some fall florals and I wanted to go over kind of things that I look for in fall florals. So I ended up bringing all of these home with me, of course, for styling ideas and video purposes, but I found a lot of this stuff at Hobby Lobby. So I took some footage while I was there. These are some of the things that they have there. So definitely check out Hobby Lobby if you are in the market for fall florals. They have so much, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So what I like to keep in mind is kind of very natural and organic type colors and textures and things that don't really look too fake. I really liked these kind of dusty pinkish um, fall florals and a lot of these were 40% off too. They had them in several colors. They had way more of this kind of burgundy red color so I opted for those. But one thing that I kind of like to ask myself is would I be able to find this in nature? And if the answer is no, then I'll pass on it. So things that are like really, really bright orange and kind of screaming, um, most of the time I will pass on those. I really like to keep things in the house um, kind of more natural, if that makes sense. Another section I love to check out in Hobby Lobby is the dried florals. They always have a ton of options and they're 40% off every other week. So definitely try to get in there when they are on sale. I found these little bunny tails, I think they're called. And these are kind of like a really burgundy red, but they also have the natural color and these were 40% off as well right now. So run, cause I know they won't last. So for the kitchen, I'm gonna start off using this wood tray. I kind of like this as a base. It kind of grounds everything and I'm just going to use this Studio McGee vase with some of the florals from Hobby Lobby, a little hand towel, and stack up some plates here. And all of this stuff is interchangeable. So I'm going to add this little wooden bowl. You can put fruit in there or whatever you'd like. I also like to add a little bling or a little sparkle, kind of like the jewelry. So the salt and pepper shakers are a perfect and like I said, all this stuff is interchangeable. So when styling something for the kitchen, dig through your cabinets and find things that function, but also look pretty as well. You really can use any types of little bowls or containers, things that you can stack up. So these florals I actually found at Michael's. They were $12.99 a bunch, but they were also on sale. And then I stacked a coupon on top of that. So they were pretty reasonable. And they are sold in like little individual kind of bouquet type things. So I picked up three of them for a little base that I have. I love this white base. It is so versatile. You can even use it for like utensils and stuff too. This is a Studio McGee one from Target. And I'm just gonna show you guys how easy it is to to plop these in there and FYI these little florals do shed from Michaels they drop like little tiny tiny balls and it is kind of annoying um, when you're working with them once you leave them alone they stop dropping all that stuff 
but it is a little annoying to clean up. And just like that, it is so easy to change things up and get a new look, kind of using almost the same things, just in a different type of way. And I can take these plates off and add something else like a candle or even something kitchen related, a little bowl full of something. There are so many different things that you could do. This is one of Joanna Gaines fall candles that just came out. I am obsessed with the scent. It's so good. I had it last year. They brought it back again this year and I'm so glad because it's so minimal and clean, cute, and it smells amazing. I also wanted to add in some type of edible item. I have a really cute little berry bowl that I wanted to incorporate and you could do like little candies. I wanted to do figs, but they didn't have figs at the store. So I ended up just doing blackberries and I love how the color kind of all ties in together with everything and it looks so cute. So these are dried eucalyptus and I found these at Hobby Lobby. They come in green, but they also come in this really kind of deep burgundy color. I think they're like painted or dyed or something, but they still look really pretty and they smell really neat. So I picked up this amber glass vase from the Studio McGee line at Target, and I'm just gonna throw these eucalyptus in there. They don't need water, they're preserved, so they last forever, and you can tuck them away and use them year after year if you store them nice and neat, but this is just another really simple, quick way to add a little bit of fall into a living room or a console table, a coffee table, super easy. So these are another favorite that I found. I had to take home with me. These are kind of like a burgundy and you really cannot tell that these are faux for $5.99 a stem and they were 40% off. They um, really do look like a good preserved floral. I love how these look with a black, really textured vase. This burgundy color is really, really pretty. So I just take my wire cutters and snip off kind of the exact height that I want and then just really cram them all into that vase so that they're really tight and in there um, all really well. It almost forms like a ball right on the top and it just looks really, really cute. And this is like a smaller arrangement, so something for a kitchen by the coffee pot, in a little bathroom, or on a nightstand. This is a really cute, small little arrangement. So I also had to pick up these bunny tails. I loved these, especially in this kind of pinkish burgundy color. We are seeing that a lot this season, and it's so pretty. I found this little wooden peg hook type thing at Michael's. I had to snag it. I will link this and everything else for you guys below. And then I have these bags from Amazon. They're kind of like fruit, like little farmer's market bags with the bunny tails. I thought it all just looks so cute together. I had to put this together to kind of show you guys that you don't always have to do florals in a vase. You can kind of hang them and put them around and it almost looks a little unintentional, especially like in an entryway or a mud room, something like you just came in and hung it right there on the hook. Um, I just love how this looks. So I'm just gonna cut these down to size and then take the little twist tie that came with them, wrap it around the bottom, and then put them right there on that little hook in the bag that I got from Amazon. They come in a pack of three. I will link those below. They just look really, really cute. You can use them for like farmer's market, for fruit. If you have a little hook in the kitchen, those look so cute with apples or plums, and they all just look really, really sweet all together.
So I had this extra vase laying around the house. It was in a really kind of stark white. So I wanted to put some mortar on it, make it look a little bit more textured and natural. So I just threw some mortar on it and then painted it black. I saw this kind of purpley and green bush at my mother-in-law's. So my husband went over there and clipped some branches for me. And while they do look a little wild and crazy, I love that natural look. And I love when things like this don't cost any money. You can literally just go outside and pick a couple branches or things off of a bush or some flowers, bring them inside, and they just look so natural and bring so much life to a space. Let me know in the comments below which look was your favorite. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video inspired you or gave you some ideas to incorporate some fall florals into your home. And with that, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.